Go ahead. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. That's right. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction, and when he heard and so when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercy. Hey, that's right, man. That's why we always pray to the Lord, man. That's why we always say, hey, Lord, hear our, hear our cries. That's why he said what? Uh, set a mark with, um, on them that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done. Because the because majority of Israel, they're crying. Every Israelite is crying, but they don't know. They're not crying to the right, to the right power. Yeah. Or they're not crying for the right reason, man. You got the elect that is actually crying, that's, that is being pierced, piercing the skies, piercing the clouds, and is going to the ears of the Lord, man. And we're his sons, and he's not going to just let us keep crying, man. And you got more and more people crying and crying and crying. Lord, like, all right, man, get my, go get your brothers. Yeah. And he gonna, he's going to do it because he's merciful, man. He's going to send his son back to come in here, to come in uh, uh, pacify us, man, with the kingdom. Uh, there's a there's a scripture in there about how the, there was a lady that was uh, she kept oh uh, Luke Luke 18, 18. Right. God yeah yeah, yeah oh yeah you get that you hold that judge. God that was a, and that was an unjust judge man go ahead he made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives he said he made them also to be pitied by all those that carried them captives that's why now in Esau like I say Esau fucked up. You don't have us in hardcore bondage anymore because the Lord put the spirit on Esau to take us off, take that actual uh, uh, chattel slavery off of us so that in these times that we're in right now that we can actually come out here and prophesy because during what Jim Crow laws, you you wouldn't see, you didn't see Jake, you, Jake wasn't out here doing this, man. We'd have been hung from trees, you know? During, during the slavery time, Jake wasn't out here doing that. The Lord had a spirit on Jake to be docile in that time, but... And he had a spirit on Esau to be more more ruthless too, mm -hmm. but now the Lord put the spirit on, on Esau to be uh, pass, uh pity pity Jake, yeah. fucked him up. He was well, I mean, not fucked him up. Uh, fucked up his actually kingdom because him pitying us actually was the way for the Lord to put the spirit on, on us to come out here and prophesy. Right. But now Esau, the Lord gonna put that, that spirit back on Esau to be a, 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 a devil, being a bigger devil. And he's gonna actually gonna start bringing Jacob's trouble. But at that time, it's gonna be too late. You can't undo this word that we're doing, man. You can't un you can't undo making the elect wake up from being being elect. No matter what the elect goes through, now that they heard this word, they're gonna die knowing that they're Israelites, knowing that their their power is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That, that, that was it, not right there, right? Oh, you really? You can keep doing that. Verse 47, save us, O Yahweh, our power, and gather us from among the heathen to, to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. That's right, man, and that's what we're constantly praying for, to gather us from amongst the heathen, these other nations, man. Take us out of the land of our captives. Take us out of this Babylon, man. Take us out of this wickedness so that we can give you land and, and give you praise in your holy land, the, the land that you gave unto us, man. That's what it's about. Hey, it said in, uh, in Job, uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, said that, um, that he's going to save us so that we can serve him without fear. Yeah. That's what, that's what it's about, serving the Lord and serving his holy people, serving him in his holy land and ruling a holy world. Just want to do the duty of man. <laughs> exactly. That's all we want. That's all we want, man. But you got, you got niggas that don't want it. <laughs> but let thy will be done on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. Right. And that's what's going to happen, man. And it's manifesting. It's happening right now. Go back to that. Uh, Luke um, 18. Yeah, you can read Luke 18. Actually, you start to read that from the top. This is Luke chapter 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men, that men ought always to pray and not faint. That's right, man. Jake, Israel got to always pray and not faint, man. Even in the even in the worst conditions, man. Even in the in the harshest tribulations, which we haven't even got there yet. So it says we haven't strived into blood yet, man. But even during those times, even during Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, you gotta pray and always and not faint, man. That's when you gotta pray even more. That's why us right now, you gotta exercise that faith and exercise praying more and more, man. Because when that time comes of of, of that hour of temptation, that's all we gonna have. We might not even have each other. We might be by ourselves, man. But, uh, but we won't be by ourselves because the Lord said he will not forsake us, man. Go ahead. Saying there was, in a, there was in a city a judge which feared not the Most High, neither regardeth men. 
and there was a widow in that city, and she came all to him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but after he said within himself, Though I fear not the Most High, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest her continual coming, lest, lest by her continual coming she weary me. That's right, and, and that's why that even happens in today's times, man. That's why you got, you know, Jake be um, protesting and shit when somebody gets killed, you know? Uh, a lot of times, you know, they let, they let the, the nigga get off like Trayvon, uh, like George Zimmerman and Darren Wilson. But other times, you, they actually convict them. They actually convict policemen. And that's a, and, and that's that's the devil, man. That's an unjust king that actually, you know, um, actually a per, uh, prosecutes his own people when they kill his enemy, when they kill Jake. And that's, a, that's, that's the same thing that's going on there because you have Jake doing what? They rallying, they protesting, they making a ruckus. So Esau and his, and his judicial system like fuck it yo we gotta prosecute we gotta prosecute this we gotta prosecute this guy man we gotta we gotta we gotta throw the book at him go ahead and the lord said hear what this unjust judge saith so hear what esau even does in his own judicial system he person he prosecutes he prosecutes his own own policemen sometimes sometimes rarely sometimes. <laughs> Every every blue moon, he prosecutes his own policemen that are, are that are murdering our people. Go ahead. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? So will not the Heavenly Father, the Just, the Almighty, the the, the righteous King, will he not avenge his very his own elect, the Israelites, the, the the elect of Israel, the 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 one that can't do nothing but justice? He is just. He is he, he's just. The just one. Yeah. It's one of his titles. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. We cry day and night all to him. God, and that's what we're doing, man. Day and night. Night and day. The scripture says our spirit makes us intercessor. Yeah. Even when we're not saying it, our spirit is doing it, man. Go ahead. Though he bear long with them. Though he bear longs with us. You know, because we keep fucking up, but we're still crying. We're still, we're still crying to the Lord. He's being long-suffering. But the Lord, hey, hey, Scripture says, make, uh, um, give him no rest, man. We're not giving the Lord rest. Go ahead. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? That's right, man. So what? We got to continue to have faith that the Lord will avenge us. That the Lord will bring back his son to to uh, to do that righteous recompense. To recompense those that, those, uh, uh, that, that trouble us, man. That puts that, that gives us tribulations of recompense those those people, man. These are uh, these these Edomites and these other nations, man, and even two thirds of our own people. We we believe that the Lord is going to do that, and we got to have that faith until the very end, until death. Right. Even even while we're getting persecuted, we still want to say to this devil, just like how the seven the seven brothers in the Book of Maccabees right. say, "You might kill us now, but guess what? We gonna come back. We gonna get you, motherfuckers, yeah. man. That's, right. That's what we gonna say to you, devils. You could chop us. You could chop our heads off now, but best believe, we coming back in a new body, and we gonna be the first ones to grab your asses up, man. That's what it's that's what it's about. We're gonna end it up, uh, end it, close it up. So Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over one that is profitable. That's right. And <laughs> the power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord. So yeah, the Lord put up Esau, he put up the bases of men to rule right now, just to show how not to rule just to just to show israel what not to do when we get into our kingdom and to judge these devils right. <laughs> and to be righteous and to be just okay. so when he does judge them he can say well you know why i'm doing this i don't you don't publish my book throughout the four corners of the earth all these publishers are edomites <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know about this one. Well, this is a... Well, Alright, maybe not that one. <laughs> he had to probably go to... He probably had to go to East to, to get the paper. Chair. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? But you know what not to do, and you still... You still...